Brian Schaffer and again here from Skidmark Garage. Today I am going to show you how to take piston rings off of a piston without breaking them. Okay, camera set up. Alright, we've got a CB350 piston here with the piston rings on. Now these are new, but assuming you just took your piston out of your engine, and you've got old rings that you want to replace, why not just snap them off? Well, if you snap them off, that's all great and fine, assuming that when you put the new ones on, you don't snap any of them. But if you're putting the new ones on and you happen to break one of them, wouldn't it be nice to be able to take one of the old ones that maybe is still in decent shape and put that back on the piston instead of having to stop all your progress, contact Common Motor, and order a new set of piston rings and spend another 20 bucks. So uh, we want to take these off from the top down and they are taken off almost the same way that they're put on. They're kind of rolled off. We are not going to take the piston ring and just open it up and lift it off. That would snap it. So get a thumb on there and or a finger get it on the end and just pull it out a little bit start backing it away start and you don't you don't want to just take it and go straight up with it you want to come out you kind of want to you know back it back it off and lift it up at the same time. You want the whole lot of this piston ring to be sticking out of the groove before you start lifting it up. So get a lot of it to stick out of the groove and then lift it up. Right now I've got it up on the crown. I'm halfway home. So now we just kind of continue to back it out. We don't just lift it up. So get a finger on there. Keep backing it out. Sometimes it's going to be, it's going to stick a little. But now I'm not even pushing this thing all the way around. I'm basically slowly pulling it and it's walking itself out. Look at that. It's just dying to come out. Okay, the second ring. Here's the end. Same kind of thing. We want to expose a lot of this ring outside of the groove before we lift it up to the crown. So you can see I got a whole lot of it outside of it. Now I can lift it up. I get the tip out of here, up on the crown, and I can just keep pulling it out. And as I pull this out, this this end is going to start dragging itself across the crown. Yep. Get me out. Boom. The last three are pretty easy. These are pretty flexible. Uh, you don't have to worry about snapping them, but you do have to worry about bending them out of shape. So grab whatever end you can get your finger on, pull it out, lift it up, and start backing it out. Walk it off. Like that. Uh, where's the end on this? There it is. Grab that end. Same thing, just kind of very easy. And the wavy oil ring is extremely easy to take off. This one you actually can just open it all the way up. Because this one is extremely flexible. 
there you have it. That's how you take piston rings off without breaking them. They can be reused if they're not destroyed. The Olympics. All right. Thanks for tuning in.